गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट डीप बार केस रोटार इंडक्शन मोटर सो इन द डीप बार केस इंडक्शन मोटर बिफोर प्रोसीडिंग टू दिस लेट अस ट्राई टू रिवाइज व्हाट वी हैव स्टडीड इन इंडक्शन मोटर्स सो आई एम जस्ट ब्रीफली राइटिंग द फार्मूलास बिकॉज सो दैट वी नीड नॉट गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ ऑल दिस थिंग्स सो टार्क टी इज इक्वल टू वन एटी बाई टू पाई एन एस इन टू एस टाइम्स ऑफ ई टू स्क्वेयर इन टू आर टू डिवाइडेड बाई आर टू स्क्वेयर प्लस एस एक्स टू स्क्वेयर दिस इज वॉट द टार्क इक्वेशन वी हैव सीन सो एट द टाइम ऑफ स्टार्टिंग the value of yes yes will be equal to 1 so value of x2 will be far far greater than the value of r2 so i can rewrite my value of tst starting torque will be 180 by 2 pi ns into the s is equal to 1 this becomes e2 square into r2 and r2 is very less compared to x2 so this becomes x2 square this is what equation we get or from this we can tell that the starting torque is directly proportional to the value of the resistance and inversely proportional to the value of the reactance this is what we get then similar way the slip corresponding to mazon torque we have derived it depends on the value of r2 by x2 so if the ratio of r2 by x2 is more then the slip corresponding to mazon torque will be more that means mazon torque occurs at a bigger slip if r2 is less then the slip corresponding to mazon torque will shift towards the synchronous speed so this is what is the difference so then the maximum value of the torque will be equal to If you substitute, this is becomes 180 by 2 pi n s e2 square divided by 2 x2. Or from this, I can write my maximum torque is inversely proportional to the value of reactance. That means if reactance is more, automatically the maximum torque will be less. So maximum torque is decided by the value of the reactance. So with these basics, let us proceed further. So if you take the different types of induction motor which you have studied, first one is the squirrel cage motor. so the squirrel cage motor the value of the resistance is less because it is squirrel cage and it will be like a squirrel cage where all the bars are connected short circuited together like this all the bars are short circuited as all the bars are short circuited if you take resistance r r r like that let us assume some 20 conductors are there so a equivalent resistance will be r divided by 20 because all are connected in parallel so the net resultant resistance is very less in the case of squirrel cage motor as a net resultant is very less the disadvantage of the squirrel cage motor is as the starting torque is proportional to r2 the starting torque is less that means in order to produce the steam torque i should take more value of the current because the resistance is less for a given value of the induced voltage because the emf divided by resistance or the impedance so starting current will be very high this is the disadvantage of squirrel cage motor but it is having the advantage the maximum value of the torque as it is inversely proportional to the reactance as reactance is less in this so maximum value of the torque is more that is the first one or for a given value of leakage reactance and everything because in this case the effect of the leakage reactance is less so less leakage flux because it is designed in such a way so automatically ie is less so power factor is more that is the first advantage getting it but and the second advantage is under running conditions as the resistance is less so under running conditions the copper losses in the rotor copper losses are less when the copper losses are less automatically the efficiency will be more automatically the efficiency will be more these are the benefits of squirrel cage motor so we can conclude that the squirrel cage motor is having very good running characteristics and poor starting characteristics because poor current start case is due to the value of the resistance now coming to the second type of induction motor we have seen the slip ring induction motor in the case of slip ring induction motor the value of the resistance is more because as the value of resistance is more the value of tst is increased that means it will have very good starting characteristics and due to increase in the resistance the value of starting current is also decreased so it is having double benefit but coming to the running characteristics the maximum value of the torque the maximum value of the torque is inversely proportional to the value of x2 generally the value of x2 is more than it will decrease or for a given value of x2 the maximum value may not change but the slip corresponding to maximum torque which is the ratio of r2 by x2 if x2 is same in both squirrel cage and this motor still also as the resistance is more the slip corresponding to maximum torque will increase that means the maximum torque will happen at a larger value of slip that means at under full load conditions the amount of torque will be less when compared to the normal motor this is the first disadvantage and second disadvantage is under running conditions as the value of r2 is more so copper losses are more when the copper losses are more the efficiency will fall down 
These are the second disadvantages. And the third disadvantage is the no load power factor is very less because effect of the leakage reactance will be dominating the value of the resistance. So this is the reason. Getting it? So let us now see how can we combine the characteristic of both the things. That means I want good starting characteristics. So how to get the good char starting characteristics? Increase the value of R at the time of starting. Now I want a good running characteristics. So how to get the good running characteristics? The value of R under running conditions should be less. So if you can provide this good running characteristics also will be obtained and good starting characteristics also obtained. So this can be achieved by using the deep cage type of rotor. So deep cage type of rotor. So the rotor construction will be something like this. So here the rotor bars will be inserted like this. So these are the bars. Generally the bars depth is maintained between 20 to 25 mm when compared to 10 to 12 mm in the case of normal induction motor. So it will have nearly double the depth when compared to the normal induction motor and the ratio of the depth by width depth by width ratio that means this is the width depth by width ratio is maintained as 10 to 12 is to 1 that means nearly 12 is to 1 ratio is maintained so because of that it is more deep so what will be the advantage of keeping the more deep bars so the advantage is whenever the flux is linking you can see the flux that is produced the leakage flux will be going on increasing as we go on to top this will be the pattern of the leakage flux This will be the pattern of the leakage flux. You can see here this lower as you are going into deep, the flux linkages are increasing. Flux linkages due to leakage flux is increased. When the flux linkages are more, that is the EMF that is induced, the EMF induced is increases as we go into deep of the bars. As the EMF is increased, that EMF will oppose the cause. What is the cause for production of that? That flux is the current. So it will try to change the current distribution in this. So this concept is called as the skin effect. So because of this, what happens? The current disturbance distribution got disturbed. So this is my current. As we go towards the outside, the current distribution will go on increasing because inside the current distribution will be very less. That means it is like inside out of the area to very less area the current is passing but as you go out it is distributing towards the entire area. This is just equivalent to the decrease in the area. This I can take as decrease in the area. We know R is equal to rho L by A. Now the area is decreased. When the area is decreased what will happen to the resultant value of the resistance? The resultant value of the resistance will increase the resultant value of the resistance will increase. Now the effect of this current distribution, the current distribution this depends on the value of the frequency. So as the frequency increases, so the skin effect, so generally this effect is called a skin effect, the skin effect increases. So as the skin effect increases, the area decreases and the value of resistance increases. So we are just going to use this property of an inductor for the implementation of the induction motor. So at the time of starting. So when the motor is just started at the time of starting the frequency frequency of the rotor will be equal to the frequency of stator is equal to 50h. So when the frequency is more so automatically this skin effect is more at the time of starting skin effect is more. So as a result of this the area is less the resistance is very high. So as resistance is very high we know the starting torque is proportional to the value of R2. So as R2 is very high this leads to use value of the starting torque. So starting torque is very high. So it gives a very good starting performance. Now coming to the running characteristics under running conditions. So under running condition the frequency of rotor will be slip times of the stator. Generally slip will approach near to unity. So this will come to some 2 to 3 h this much less frequency will be there. For this less frequency, we can approximate this as something like the DC. So the skin effect is very less. So automatically the area is increased. That means all the area, the current will pass. So current distribution becomes uniform. So the resistance value decreases. So the running characteristics under running characteristics now slip corresponding to maximum torque. The slip corresponding to maximum torque, we know it depends on the ratio of R2 by X2. 
it is the resistance under running conditions as the resistance is decreased the slip corresponding to meson torque will decrease that means torque slip characteristics will slip uh, will shift towards the upper end so automatically we get the good running performance and the second advantage under running conditions as the value of resistance is less so automatically the value of i2 square into r2 is less so we can tell that the copper losses are very less under running conditions so when copper losses are less the efficiency will improve that means it is just combining the features of both high resistance as well as the low resistance but this one is having one disadvantage as the bar is the deep cage bar so as deep cage rotor is used because the, it is extending up to deep so automatically the value of the reactance will increase because of this so wherever we are taking the formula the value of the reactance plays a major role like for example we have already seen the value of this starting torque so tst is equal to 180 by 2 pi ns into e2 square into r2 divided by x2 square this is what we have seen so it is depending on the value of x2 if the x2 is increased automatically starting torque decreases similarly the slip corresponding to meson torque also depend on r2 by x2 so as x2 is more so automatically the slip corresponding to meson torque will also be less that means the slip at which the meson torque also will be less when compared to that of squirrel gauge motor and the maximum value of the torque t maximum is inversely proportional to the value of x2 so as x2 is more so automatically the maximum torque will be less so these are the limitations of this method so i am summarizing all these things so when you summarize this you will get your curve like this so this is my value so as you are going towards ns this is speed is equal to zero this is torque so let us assume the condition that x, x ratio is maintained constant if resistance is changed how it is going to change so if you are keeping high value of resistance the starting torque will be more but slip corresponding to meson torque will be less so this is for high value of resistance so now if you are taking the low value of the resistance the starting characteristics are very weak but running characteristics are very good and slip corresponding to meson torque will depend on the resistance as resistance is less the slip corresponding to meson torque will change this is having lower value of resistance this is under normal conditions but if you take the case of the deep bar rotor because the reactance is more as compared to that of high resistance or the low resistance squirrel cage rotor so automatically the value of the torque is less because continuously the torque is affected so your torque slip characteristics will be something like this it will vary and it will reach some peak so it will be like this this is for the case of deep bar rotor so it will have some characteristics like nearly constant torque speed characteristics the torque speed characteristics will be nearly linear so this is what is obtained getting it so the disadvantage of this deep cage bar rotor is so the first disadvantage is as the value of the reactance is more the power factor is less this is the second one then efficiency also little less when compared to that of normal squirrel cage motor because in this case the resistance is more than that of normal squirrel cage motor so whatever you do because the thickness of the conductor is more then the the effect of this is the overload capacity will decrease because we have seen here the characteristics are shifted downwards so the overload capacity is less this is the disadvantage of this so where these deep cage rotors are used generally the reef cage rotors are used where you want high value of the starting torque but you cannot compromise the running characteristics you can see here let us assume your motor is operating under this condition you can see here this is for the case of squirrel cage motor this is for the case of deep cage motor so you can see here the deep cage motor characteristics are very near to that of squirrel cage motor but instead if you increase the resistance you will get these characteristics so characteristics are very near the running characteristics are very near to that of the squirrel cage induction motor whereas the starting characteristics are better than the squirrel cage induction motor that means wherever you want high starting torque and moderate performance that means a little decrease in the efficiency is not a concern for you you can go for the deep cage bar rotors getting it i hope this deep cage bar rotor construction is completely clear to you if you still have any queries you can leave your comments in the comment section below i will answer to your queries from there thank you thank you very much